Hey guys, what's going on? Coach Justin here from Ultimate Baseball Training. And in today's video, I wanted to share with you some infield drills that you can do by yourself. I understand and I've been there, believe me, when you know you don't have any teammates or any friends that can get together. You don't have, you know, maybe maybe your dad's at work or your mom or dad's at work, maybe your brother and sister's gone at school or work or whatever, and you really want to get better, but there's nobody there that can maybe hit you ground balls or play catch with you or anything like that. So what do you do? Do you just sit on the couch? Well, the answer is no. This video, I'm going to teach you some infield drills that you can do anywhere, practically anywhere, any field, any basement, any driveway, whatever you have, okay, be resourceful, but you can do these drills pretty much everywhere. So without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so the very first one, you don't need a glove for this, all you need is a baseball. And I'm a firm believer, guys, that the more that you touch the baseball, the more that you handle the baseball, the better that you're gonna be when a real ground ball is hit to you in a real game or when you're turning double plays. The better, you know, the, the more that you touch the baseball, the better of an infielder that you're gonna be. I truly believe that. You know, it's about reps, it's about the amount of times that the baseball is in your hand. So we're gonna actually do a ball handling drill similar to what you do at maybe basketball practice, but it's really just a great warm-up drill that I like to do because you're always touching the baseball okay sometimes the ball is going to take a bad hop you're going to have to you know handle it with your bare hands sometimes the double play feed might be a little weird or you might bobble something you're going to have to always be in contact with a baseball in a real game so why not practice that now so the first one is ball handling okay what, what we're going to do we're going to have the baseball in our right hand okay we're going to start out going just around our torso like this and you might have to go slow you might have to go really slow at first and then you can gradually build up speed like this you can switch directions okay but the whole goal is to keep the ball obviously in our hands we don't want to drop it like I just did here okay so keep it in your hands you know going slow and keeping it in your hands is better than trying to go way too fast and then fumbling the ball okay so just do it you know around your torso at first switch up the direction okay but we're just working on touching the baseball as much as we possibly can so around our torso that's the very first one then we can actually work our way down and go around our legs so around our calves okay and switch directions and then after we do that for a while we've done our torso we've done our legs now this is just like basketball ball handling we can actually go in between our legs and do the figure eights okay we're gonna just touch the baseball soft hands that's another thing this is really gonna help you with is just soft hands nice and soft if your hands tense up like this if they're bricks, then that's gonna be very hard to handle the baseball. We have to have soft hands as you're receiving ground balls, as you're receiving double plays, as you're receiving you know, cutoff throws from the outfield. Our hands always have to be soft. So this is another thing that's gonna help with, besides just touching the baseball, it's gonna help you develop those soft hands. So that's the very first drill, is ball handling. All right, the next drill I like to call right, left, tap, tap. So we don't need a ball for this, but put on your glove, okay? And as you probably know, when we're fielding a ground ball in a game, the footwork, we don't just hop to the baseball or step with our left foot or, you know, don't really think about it at all. There's a specific way that we approach a ground ball. And the way that is, is it's right, left for a right-handed player, obviously, right, left, catch. And then we step through right, left, and then we make a throw, okay? So right, left, catch, right, left, throw. That is the footwork, that is the progression. And just something, you know, in case you didn't know, I see a lot of younger players, they field the ball in the middle of their stance like this, or worst case scenario, to the right over here. If, you know, whether you're righty or lefty, what you wanna do is you wanna field the ball slightly on your glove side. So if I just let my arms hang like this, obviously my glove side, boom. Right like that, we want to fill the ball as a righty, you know, pretty much in the instep of our left foot. That's going to allow us to, you know, not do anything crazy with our arms like this. We're going to just field the ball naturally, as well as that's going to help us, you know, continue to have momentum going towards first base, going towards our target, okay? But back to the drill. So all we're going to do is we're going to act like we're getting into an athletic position. We're about to field the baseball, and then we're going to go right, left, and then tap, tap. A lot of players, a lot of coaches will preach, hey, you know, Johnny, get your butt down. And if you look at it from the side, you know, a lot of players think that that means butt down. And so they get into a fielding position like this. And that is not a good fielding position because if the ball takes a bad hop, it can hit me in the face. I'm not going to be able to make that play. I'm going to be on the ground crying. What I like to teach is butt back. So instead of butt down, butt back, and then have a flat back. So we're still in an athletic position, but when we're like this. If the ball takes a bad hop, it's gonna hit me in the chest, and then I can still recover and make that play, okay? But this drill, really simple. Right, left, tap, tap. Right, left, 
tap, tap, okay? And then we're just gonna reset, you just walk forward. Right, left, tap, tap. Right, left, tap, tap. Get into a good solid fielding position, whether your hands to the side or up top like this. Right, left, tap, tap. Act like we're, you're watching the baseball all the way into your glove. It's gonna be a leg workout if you do it for long enough, but it's gonna really help you, you know, get into that good solid fielding position and it's gonna help you work on your posture. So a great footwork drill. I'd recommend you do this every single day by yourself, whether you're a little leaguer or a major league player. All right, so building on that, we're gonna do right, left, catch, and then step through to our throwing position, okay? So this is just, you know, slowly, it's building blocks. This is the same type of drill, except now we're adding the step through. We're not gonna stop when we just field the ball. We're gonna act like we funnel it into our body and then get into our throwing position, okay? So again, right, left, catch, step through, stay low, and then I get into my good solid throwing position, okay? You can stop here, get your throwing position, whatever you'd like to do, but it's right, left, catch, and then we're stepping through. So you're just adding one more step, but again, a great drill. You can do this at home in front of a mirror or whatever. Do this pretty much anywhere, very limited space. Right, left, catch, step through. And you know, at first you can go really, really slow like I'm doing now, and then you can actually speed it up, go a little bit faster, a little more game speed, just like that. So right, left, catch, and then step through. Right, left, catch, step through into my throwing position. All right, the next one is wall ball. And I've, you know, definitely, you've seen this in my videos before. I'll throw up a video right now so you can see what I'm talking about. But if you have any sort of a wall or, you know, a garage with a tennis ball, whatever, find a wall. And it's great because you can throw the baseball off the wall and you can work on short hops. You can work on balls hit right at you or balls hit to your, you know, your forehand, your backhand. Or you can just work on, instead of short hops, you can work on regular ground balls. And you can actually do wall ball and incorporate all these drills. So you can throw the ball against the wall and then do right left catch and stop there and then throw another one against the wall right left catch and then work on your step through so you can incorporate every single one of these drills into wall ball but that's great you can use a real baseball a tennis ball but you don't need a partner and you can sit there all day long and play wall ball the momentum drill this drill you're going to need three different cones and i'll show you how to set them up in a second but i see a lot of younger players what they do let's say i'm the shortstop the ground ball is hit to me a lot of players run up directly to the ball and they feel the ball and they're stuck just like this like their feet are stuck in concrete and then to throw to first base they have to you know they're at inertia right now they have to overcome that inertia and then go into a giant crow hop and try and make a throw they don't have any sort of momentum going towards their target so this drill is going to teach you number one the proper footwork on how to feel the ground ball number two it's going to teach you how to gain that momentum going towards your target okay so what we're going to do we're going to have a baseball on the ground okay just drop a baseball that's going to simulate where we're going to field the baseball what we're going to do is we're going to set up three different cones okay so i'm going to set up a cone right here directly pretty much behind the baseball that's where I'm gonna start, that's my starting position. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up a cone slightly to the right, okay? And then a cone slightly to the left of the baseball. So it makes, you know, kind of like a triangle shape right there. And then all you do is you start at this back cone here and instead of going directly to the baseball to field it and then I'm stuck here and have no momentum, all we're gonna do is we're gonna work on rounding the baseball and then get into our right left catch footwork, okay? So, so I'm gonna start back here by this cone, boom, I'm in my ready position and then the ball's hit, all right? So I'm gonna get around this cone like this and then my footwork is gonna be right left, boom, right left catch. I'm gonna field the baseball and then step through, right, left, throw. All we're working on is getting to the point where we catch the baseball, okay? But really, the whole purpose of this is gaining that momentum going towards our target. So instead of fielding the ball and just running, I see a lot of youth players run straight up to the ball and then they're stuck. All we're working on is a ground ball that's hit directly at us. We're just working on creating some sort of an angle, okay? This is a little bit exaggerated. In a game, it doesn't have to be that wide, but just create a little bit of an angle so that you have some sort of momentum going towards your target. And then that's for a ball hit right at you. A ball hit to your left, it's really easy because you can just go this way and kind of time it a little bit better and you already have your momentum going towards the target. And then, you know, a backhand, a lot of the times it's all about angles. So you might be able to round it, you know, a little bit field it off this side and then you know the backhand is going to be obviously require the most arm strength it's tough to get around the baseball but try to get around the baseball at any point you know that you can but this is the momentum drill it's really really going to help you one of my favorite infield drills all right last one fielding position walk so we're going to get down into our ready position and all we're going to do glow on the ground like we're fielding the baseball and all we're going to do is we're going to take a step back 
and our glove is going to stay on the ground. So I'm acting like I'm feeling the forehand back like this and then back like this transition. You see my glove goes from this to transitions back this way. This is again a great leg workout. We're working on our posture, working on our positioning. That's all this drill is for. Okay. But again, down into a good position like this. Boom. Boom. You can add a step here if you want. Boom. Back to center. Boom. Back to center. Boom. Back to center. Boom. But you can do fielding position walks and just doing those five or ten that I just did right there. My legs are already starting to burn. You know, it's a great conditioning workout as well. And that's that's really important because as an infielder, um, you have to be able to field the ball when you're tired. Maybe you're tired, you know, out of breath from a double relay that you just did. You need to be able to recover. You know, if that next ball is hit to you and it's a critical situation, you need to be able to recover and make that play. So this drill is going to help you with that. All right, so that's it. Those are some great infield drills that you can do by yourself at home. You don't need a coach. You don't need somebody else to hit you fungoed ground balls or anything like that. You can do them completely on your own. I promise you guys, you know, if there's a will, there's a way. If you really want to get better, if you really want to take your game to the next level, don't let, you know, a coach or a dad or, you know, a friend, a teammate, don't let them hold you up. Take your game into your own hands. Take your career, your future into your own hands. That's really going to help you out. Okay, before you go, I actually have a free bat speed workout that I want to share with you. All you need to do to grab that free bat speed workout, click on the very first link in the description below this video. That'll take you to my website. I just need your email address and I will immediately send you that free bat speed workout. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. As always, leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Hit this button right here, that circle, and then click subscribe. You'll be notified whenever we release new baseball videos, okay? And get in the comment section below. Let me know what you want me to make future videos about. Let me know if you like these drills, what other drills you can do, you know, help your, your, your fellow players out. What other drills can you do by yourself, okay? So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.